Hello guys and welcome back, I'm Wazero and thank you for joining me. Kingdom Come got a update yesterday I believe, after I finished recording, I think it was released then. So we're at 1.3.1 now, so that's good. It was a bunch of quest fixes and we got a save and quit option now, as well with some V-Sync and anti-ally icing options so that's real good and some game improvements with lock picking and alchemy and whatnot hopefully they will continue and develop this great game and last time we left up here we saw this massacre the burning of our village so yeah it is looking quite bleak we are at Rovna, and we will go to Skelets and find our parents. So we will do that. Alright, so it is one. And block with Q, good. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. Who are you? sword and he died apparently so what can we get from him all right we will take everything we are over in combat apparently well we can take this le equip this leather jerking so that's good that's some extra defense now we can go on our merry way <coughs> Man, this was not a good idea. Henry, you are mad. But it is for a noble cause. That's good. We will run. And... a good thing. I really hope we can get some revenge. Wish I hadn't seen that. Why did anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Good question, Henry. What's up? Hey, you're in the wrong place at 
the wrong time. Um, he was quick and easy. <laughs> Vitality. Mercy kill. Uh, oh, oh, all right. Mercy kill. <laughs> He's in that kind of pain, huh? Well, he said mercy kill, so... What do you have on you? Is it any better than we have? We'll take it all, and we shall find out. We got a better leather, so we'll take that instead. Late voters can grab them. Noble shoes. Well, these are better, so we will equip them. And let's continue with this. Got some good. Yeah, we will go there. Status. Yeah, that is blocked. We got some good nobleman shoes. We got a leather jerkin. For our torso defense. Let's see here. Oh, no stabbing time yet, Henry. Take a chill pill. Who's that? Who are you? What's that? Do you want to fight? Yeah. Well, stabbing action is good, so let's just do that. Oh. He surrendered. Continue comma, let him go disarmed, release him. Let him go disarmed. You say so. You know, he's a bandit. Continue combat. No surrender. We finish what we started. He's a bandit. Oh hey. Tackle. Where did you go? Oh, well. Uh, we will take everything. And we will assess what we can get. And that one is better, so we'll equip that. So we'll take this one. On we go. Oh, we completely missed it. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Alright, shard. I need to get up. Is it any good? Our sword is. Age sword is greater than the shard, so we'll keep it. Because, you know, we can sell it otherwise. And now we will continue. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. You stood by your side and he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon me.
why did he do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Doggy. Find a spade. All right. And the doggy is where? Be somewhere here. Get away, you beast! What's going on? Mishak, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Looting corpses. He's protecting his master. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? I asked first. I'm going to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. What happened to Teresa? Yeah, that's right. Do you know what happened to Teresa in the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to. They meant to violate her. God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. How did you get away? How did you manage to get away? And we saved Teresa, How by the way. How do you think? I ran. And me that spade. Did you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have hmm. a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? It's for Radzig. Or Sir Radzig. My father forged it for Sir Radzig. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and make that grave with your sword. See how that works. And where will you dig it, anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. 
Well, looks like we don't have any other option. I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honor? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of corn. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the butcher? The only way you'll touch this sword is when I shove it in your guts. Hey, you. Oh, all right. I couldn't tackle him. Oh, let's see. We got a spade. Without worries. To do with a bite to eat. And can we talk to the doggy? Easy now. Good master, well, there's nine Groshans. Nah. As he said to him earlier, Henry, that he had no respect when he was looting the corpses, so we will not take his stuff. Need to dig a grave up in the linden tree. Bianca, by the way, is she here somewhere? Could do with a bite to eat. Ain't that Bianca? Yeah, that's right. Bianca's a ring. The ring you gave to Bianca. Well, I could take that. I think this is a keepsake to remember. Yeah, my Davis. Yeah. Now we will dig that grave. Right, dig a grave, yes. And our inventory is full yet again. But no matter. We shall power through the overloading for a little bit more. I feel quite hungry. Man, our once peaceful home is taken and transformed into something out of a nightmare. It's no good. This is a good place. You're gonna like it. Need to equip it, I expect. No. Stop digging, alright? Yeah, I miss my parents too. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? 
Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? It's Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers. <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you already know. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt. I cut the bastard down. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! <laughs> oh, not disengage. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. All right, that was scripted, I guess. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common kid. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> the games are over. No!
Maybe a portal. These visions when they are in the it's just so blurry. Do you need some help? Never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. You still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalit? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <coughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you find me? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Saratik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. <laughs> Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? 
Ugh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Things from the trunk. Sweet pancakes, that good. Some delicious sweet pancakes. Open. And we got all our stuff, I think. So that's here. Stolen tag is all gone. Even better. Let's equip the stuff. And we get all our good ocean and pressure maps and our beta die. Let's eat some sweet pancakes. Or full. Perfect. Our quest is get father's sword back, find a mark, ward one owlets, and avenge your parents. Go to Perkstein to see Sir Redzig and talk to Miller Peshek. So we'll be doing that now. By the way, where are we? Oh, alright. That is really far away. And this is exciting. A new town, new village, and the prologue were awesome. Can we talk to Teresa? Have you eaten yet? Yes, it was very yes, good. it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Can we talk more with Teresa? I'd like to know... I'd like to know... How do you like it in Ratai? So, how do you like it in Ratai? It's a big town with good strong walls, so I suppose we're safe here. And they took us in in our hour of need, but... For how much longer? They'll grow tired of us soon enough. How are the Scallets folk getting on? They're alive. That's the main thing. They have shelter, but they're just scraping by. Rattay citizens aren't happy the town is full of beggars who don't look like leaving any time soon. Do you know anything about those human rapists? About... You know. They came to Hungary from God knows where, and now they... Well, folk tell awful stories about them. I hope I never see them again. That's all. Have you got a moment? I'd like to ask a few questions about scallops. I don't remember much. A all right. What do you want to know? How did you get me away from scallops? 
It wasn't easy. So Robard and his men helped load you on a wagon and we harnessed an old nag the bandits had left behind. The soldiers escorted us all the way here. God bless them. What about the bandits? Sir Robard and his men routed them. They killed the few, but the giant who attacked you fled, and Zibashek with him. It won't be safe in Skalitz for a while yet. Why would Zibashek do that? I never thought much of him, but banditry? He was always a nasty piece of work. Doesn't surprise me he joined them. If you knew what he did to me... Tell me. When those... humans, they call them... When the Cumans came, Zibishek pushed me out in front of them and fled. He sacrificed me to save his own hide. That bastard! Where's the sword I had? You had a sword? It's gone now. Those scum took everything, including your horse. I don't give a damn about the horse. I stole it anyway. But my father forged that sword for Sir Radzik. I promised father I'd take it to him. I have to get it back. Well, you can't. Just be thankful you're still alive. What happened to the other survivors from Skalitz? They sought refuge in Ratei. And some of the Ratei folk are none too happy about it. And Matthew, Fritz and Matthias? Johanka? Did they make it? They're alive. I heard Matthias is at the stud farm in Merhoyed. Johanka is in Sasau, And Fritz and Matthew, well, you know them. They're up to no good somewhere. The only trouble they'll be in is of their own making. What about Sir Radzig? Sir Hanush, he's the Lord of Ratei. He gave his lower castle to Sir Radzig, a place called Perkstein. Sir Hanush lives at the upper castle. The Scarlet's folk had made camp in front of it. How did you get away from those Cumans? You're wrong. If it hadn't been for you... When they came to the mill, they slaughtered everyone. Kept me for last. After you distracted them, I fled to the mines to find my brother, but he... My brother was dead, but I owe my life and more to you. And I owe mine to you. The scales are balanced. I won't trouble you anymore. Let's leave it be. Fancy a little orc. What are you up to? How would you like to, um, I don't know, uh, come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time. Alright. Well, we found out stuff about Skelets, and we'll she you, escaped, so that's good, thanks to us. But she saved our lives, so, yeah. Miller Peshek. I'm Henry. Thanks for taking care of me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the Miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh... Let's say the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. 
I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. A little bit more, I guess. I was but... prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. I don't like Come where on. he's going with Listen, this. It's about this ring, my mate. Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the bible it's still a human body only it's missing a soul why be disgusted by something created by god no i won't risk my honor for that that was a pretty speech but you're still talking about a filthy deed i won't do it i value my honor higher than coin i gave you a chance to work off your debt don't think you can wriggle out of it i want my groschen back and quick otherwise i'll make your life hell Believe me. Well, how much do you want? I have 140 groschens. I've got coin enough to pay you back. Can you tell me first? Can you tell me about the skeletons? What folk? about the skeletons, folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. They don't work. They just idle around begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. That's all. Now we shall pay him. I've got the money to pay if that we debt. can pay that debt. And I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head. Hand it over. That job's still going, if you're interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through. Even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill. I live here. And I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do. And I hope I live to see peace in this land again. That job you wanted me to do, I won't do it. I pay both you and the apothecary, so we're even. You're an ungrateful pup, aren't you? Well, suit yourself. If you ever need anything, you know where not to go. Farewell. Okay, he was really mad about Jesus! That. Damn! My respects to you. You've an honest trade. How come you got mixed up in crime? Evil times. The harvest failed. And there was no grain to mill. And a child to feed on top of it all. I had no choice. And meanwhile, the lords in the castle and the monks in the monastery stuffed their craws to bursting. Where's the justice in that? So you took justice into your own hands, is that it? And now you take whatever you need? Pull your head out your ass, Henry. Take a good look around you. Wars come and go, but nothing really changes. It's the poor that do the dying, 
and the nobles who reap the rewards. We have to survive somehow, so why concern ourselves with morals? What sort of training do we have for picking? Can you teach me to? Okay. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumble. In your left hand, you hold it. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock to blade, but don't stop holding the tumble of the head. Otherwise, you'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. You're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you here. Yeah. Remember, this trunk's only Try it a few more times if you like. Then good luck with the real thing. Alrighty. How can I sell stolen goods? But what am I to do with these things? I'm in the situation. No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could, uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for, uh, taking care of them before. So if someone loses something, and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store, and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. It's good, Henry. Learn about the laundry business. Would you teach me something about the, uh, milling? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own. Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Well, <laughs> we are not going to master in theory or any kinds of that, but if the if it's necessary to complete a quest or get some revenge on someone to get something from them or something like that, then it's worth it, so might as well learn it. Alrighty. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Alright, let's try this. What happened? I'll step first one try. Yes. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best no. practice on drunks and sleeping. That was folk. the worst so you don't end up in jail before you ever. even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Yes, of course. I almost forgot. Would you happen to have any work for me? Of course I would. And, surprise, surprise, it's another ring. Like last time. Properly done this time. Proper hard work. And who else to set the task to than you? The ring leader, so to speak. The thing is, one of the rich townsmen left his ring behind the last time he went to the baths for some winching. Too drunk to see it, no doubt. And now he wants it back. And the baths deny all knowledge. Why not turn to the bailiff? Why not? 
Because he doesn't want anyone to know about his bath house visits. And the girls in the baths are wary of selling the ring in case the bailiff does start looking for it after all. So we'll make life easier for them. What do you say? <laughs> it's not that long ago I swore to go straight. Which means no thieving of any kind. <laughs> and when are you entering the convent? Well, if you change your mind, the ring is in the madam's treasure chest. And when you change your mind, bring it here. Oh. Let me pick again. Right, pickpocketing again. No, uh, uh. Training. Pickpocketing. I hear you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. Oh, right. Another well, time. I'll think it over. Oh. We have talked to Miller Peshek. Also with Teresa. What are you doing? We will wash this off. And we are good to go. So we'll go to with the awakening next episode. That is go to to Redzik in the Birkenstein castle. We have some level ups to do. We will do that next time. We have any Savior Snaps got two. But we recently got a saving, but we can also save and quit to get that, so that's good. Or go in here. Save. Alright. That's the prologue completed for Kingdom Come Deliverance. It was a really long prologue, but now the game is really starting to pick up. We will go to Sir Redzig and find out what we can do for him. And this is really, really fun, guys. Yeah, I'm so glad. <laughs> this is just a really awesome game. I highly suggest that you pick it up if you haven't yet and start playing it. It's awesome. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support me by giving a like, comment, share and subscribe along with clicking the notification bell to get all the latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it. I am Wazero and I'll see you next time.